What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at Black Ops 6 here on the Steam Deck, at least the ways we can play it anyway, right? Because it still doesn't work on Steam OS, but we can use cloud gaming, which is what we're gonna take a look at. Plus, we'll take a look at the game running on Windows 11. These are really the best ways to be able to play Call of Duty on your Steam Deck. So let's go ahead and get into it and take a look. Now there are tons of other cloud gaming services, but we'll use Xbox's uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming through uh, Game Pass Ultimate. And GeForce Now, which I have the 4080 tier, the most expensive, $20 a month or $100 every six month tier. But they do have a free tier if you wanted to try it out and a $10 a month tier as well. And that'll affect what kind of hardware and experience you get. Now, because this is browser based, we don't get the 120 FPS experience on here, but that's okay. 60 FPS, we can stream it that way, lock it down that way in the game and on the deck. And it'll be pretty smooth. You can control your bit rate and everything, which is much different than what we have over on Xbox. But taking a closer look here at GeForce Now, the game runs great here. Of course, we're on a 4080 running 800p on the deck as a stream. I have 1200p in the game. And this game would run about 180 to 220 FPS if I wasn't capping it, which is fine. But because we're streaming 60 FPS here, it gets a little janky feeling when the game's running that many frames, but we're only getting 60 of those sent to us. So I've got everything capped 60 across the board. And the campaign felt great here on GeForce Now on the Steam Deck. I have a great Wi-Fi connection here in my house, so that's what I'm testing this on. But I use GeForce Now a lot to play a lot of different games. And while cloud gaming can be difficult to be competitive, as we're playing in multiplayer here it's one of the best experiences you can get when it comes to cloud if you do want to be able to jump in and try this so multiplayer campaign was really good I didn't try zombies because performance is going to be fine. You're going to be able to run a lock 60 as well. But on Windows 11, uh, we'll take a quick look at that. But yeah, I mean, input latency for GFN is the best you can get in cloud gaming. There's always going to be some, but it felt fine here in Black Ops. And once I'm playing for a few minutes, I'm acclimated pretty well. The 60 FPS is pretty consistent and smooth here with this hardware. So overall, it looks fine here on the OLED. It's proper aspect ratio and everything, and it runs great. I do wish GeForce Now would have a native app and allow some more options for that FPS and some of the features they have, but for now this works all right. So jumping over and we'll take a look at Xbox Cloud Gaming. So I have Game Pass Ultimate and this is another way to be able to stream and play the campaign, zombies, multiplayer, all that. This is actually the first time Call of Duty has hit Xbox Cloud Gaming uh, and being able to play it there. And you can play with your controller, which is fine here with the Steam Deck, or with a mouse and keyboard if you're docked or on a PC with a mouse and keyboard, you can actually do that, and it feels uh, good that way. It works really well. But here with the controller on the Steam Deck playing, um, input latency is not going to be as good as GeForce now, and picture quality because we're 1080p 60 with no control over the bitrate. Xbox controls that, and to keep input latency decent here, they have to kind of keep that cranked down. So on the smaller screen, it's not so bad, the 1080p 60 that we get but it is gonna be more pixelated and less clear uh, and not as nice looking as GeForce Now. It's just not as good of an experience, but it is working pretty well. Seeing as this is the first time that Call of Duty's come over to Xbox Cloud Gaming, it's kind of cool to test it out and see how it feels. I certainly wouldn't wanna to try to be too competitive, but I could grind out a few matches, maybe level some guns, certainly play campaign, and maybe mess with some zombies. So for the most part, if you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and you're wanting to check this out, if you haven't already set up Xbox Cloud Gaming and give it a shot it doesn't feel too bad on the steam deck it's, it's serviceable and you could do all right with it uh, i think geforce now is the better way to go but of course that's an additional cost above and beyond just having game pass ultimate there so it kind of depends on that too and what you're willing to spend and get into but if you do want to play call of duty on your steam deck with steam os kind of streaming remote play or cloud gaming are your only options which brings us over to windows 11. so as usual here on windows 11 i'm using handheld companion for my controller emulation so everything will work since i'm not using the steam version if you're using the steam version you won't have to worry about that as far as settings you can pause and take a look but everything's basically down the low using fsr3 we'll use some frame gen in the campaign as well and we're on balance for fsr there and yeah, pretty much low everything else there. And yeah, so getting into the campaign here for running Windows 11, um, it's not too bad. Ultimately, you're gonna be in the 40s and 50s. There might be some other later missions where there's a lot more going on where I can see this dipping down into the 30s, very similar to Zombies, which we'll take a look at as well. But the good thing is I haven't run into any really like janky um, 
stuttery stuttery areas or anything giving me a lot of hiccups or anything like that and also no crashes even though these you know drivers aren't up to date all the time for the newest games and no warnings when i launch the game either saying that i'm out of date Switching over to frame gen here with all the other same settings though at 800p, we can double that frame rate and to be honest it's working great here on Windows 11 with the Steam Deck. It's a shame these companies aren't supporting some of these games over on SteamOS because I think this would be running great over there. But yeah, frame generation running really well here on Windows 11 for this and uh, being able to take advantage of that feels great in the campaign. It's not something you can use in multiplayer but uh, works out really well here. But getting into zombies, I really haven't done much here yet. I only jumped into this to see what performance would look like for the first couple of waves. And it was kind of similar to the campaign performance, but I did notice it's going to get a little more rough. So when you start playing with people in groups and when you start getting a lot more intense uh, stuff happening on screen with more people firing weapons, plus more zombies, which, you know, more NPCs and all of that, we're going to be hitting the resources pretty hard. And I would say coming down to that 30 FPS mark pretty easily as you get farther into zombies. So keep that in mind. Multiplayer though, of course, I would expect to run the best out of all three modes, and it does here on Windows 11. I'm not holding a steady 60. I think I could probably tweak some things though and get that up there a little bit better, but for purposes of showing this performance here uh, on this match, it was fine. And I'm able to get up there most of the time, and it feels fine. It's got some hiccups and stutter here and there, but for the most part, able to run around and do okay here considering that we don't get like up-to-date drivers and a lot of support here and this is windows 11 on a steam deck um you know playing a new call of duty game like this and getting even playable or serviceable performance i think is actually pretty good pretty acceptable for the most part but of course up to you guys if you would want to try to play this in any form or fashion on the Steam Deck, whether it's cloud gaming we looked at on Steam OS or Windows 11 here, what kind of performance and experience you're looking for, um, if this is going to be for you or, or worth trying at all. All right, guys, anyways, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.